Hello everybody and welcome back to part number seven of the let's build the real grade double O riser. Now in the last episode we built the O riser which you can see I've gone ahead and done all the stickers for. And with the O riser we had both of the wing pieces. So let's put this aside. As today, we will be working on the head. Little tiny parts, little tiny parts. And the GN sword. Three, I want to say it's either two or three. I forget exactly which one, which number it is, as there are a lot of numbers. Sorry, I'm just Okay, sorry about the weird noise in the background. It's something else. And if you know what it is, bonus points to you. So, let's start out with not removing my instruction manual. Even though the head's fairly easy. Still want to be sure. God, how loud that thing is. Jeez, that goes on and on and on and on and on, doesn't it? There we go, now it's slowing down to stop. Alright. So these are the first pieces here. As you can see, I've already gone ahead and done all the internal stickers. Now, to me, it looks like it's going like this. Actually, that is correct. So you can see that there was a groove there that, that just slides right on into. Then we'll take this second half. Line it up somehow. Come on. Line up and... No, don't drop it. Okay. Oh, there we go. So that's the basic size of the head there. Just about half an inch by half an inch. Just saying that is really small. And now we get to work with even smaller pieces, like, I worry, I'm taking these out one at a time, due to the fact that I do not want to miss one. Or lose one. See? That's, that's small. This is a face mask right there. Those two are tiny. So with these, that's going to be really hard for you guys to see right now. 
but there is a little notch right where my thumb nail is kind of see it now that notch well should line up right there oh no 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 don't scratch off the sticker don't do that don't do that to me come on come on let's there we go That is in. Let me just take a look. Yes, that is in. It is very, very small. There we go. That was a good view. So that's the head so far. Instructions don't fall down yet. So now for the absolute tiny pieces. So this little red piece has a little peg that fits right into a hole. I have to use my thumbnail right there. There we go. Now for the even trickier one. This should just fit right in there. We go. Oh, that worked out beautifully. That uh, worked out beautifully. Oh, the eye stickers are straight. Yay! Eye stickers are very straight right now. Yay! Sorry if you couldn't hear me all that well before. The mic was kind of facing a different way. Now we get to start with bigger pieces. Yay! So it says to put these pieces on first. That is what we are going to do. There's one. Here's number two. Oh, that looks beautiful. That looks like the double riser. Then it says that the wider end goes towards the back. This should have a spot right in here, I believe. Yes. As I throw it towards myself. Wait. Hmm. Where's my model one? Oh yeah, that's right. Yep. Yeah. It's not used to seeing it from this way. This one. Good. Just pop right into there. Right in there. Right in there. Come on. There we go. Just like that. So we have that piece there.
We have that piece. And these two pieces. Okay. So it has I want to put on the beef in first. There we go. Now, I'm going to take this tiny little piece and you can see where it's cut out. Just line it up. Actually, did I do that first try? Oh, I totally did do that first try. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There we go. Got two more parts to put on. Did I throw one of them away right there? That should go right in. No, 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 no. There we go, there's one side. Hold on, hold on. Darn it. No, come on. See, this is the part of the build that I do not like to, there we go. Okay, so that is the double O riser head right there. Now to give you a comparison, I actually had somebody down here anyways. So I popped off his head to check the light. This is perfect grade. <laughs> this is real grade. Exactly the same head model. This one's twice, four times the size, almost. It'd be about double the size, but no, almost triple the size. So yeah, perfect grade, real grade. You can see, especially here, there's no panel lines in here, where there are on the perfect grade. Don't know where. Don't know where this part's gone, but I'll figure it out sometime. I'll find it sometime. So that's the head almost done, except for the stickers, which I will be doing later. Now for the GN Sword Three, I want to. I can find that out right now. Oh yes, GN Sword 3. I, I'm good. The absolutely massive GN Sword 3. So, this is the blade itself. So it should be just a matter of... Yes, lining it all up on one side. Flipping it over. And. Finding the spot where it wants to go. Come on. Wants to go. There we go. You close it all up and make sure you go all the way up and all the way down the sword. 
as this is the base for everything. There we go. This is a lot more sturdier than the perfect grade, which I will be showing in a minute. So it first has us which way does the hole go? Towards okay. Place this piece right there. Then this piece actually It's right over the top of that part there. And this one, with the fancier side up, should just slide on into place. Is that on? Oh, there we go. That's in. So it'll look like that once you're done. We'll put that. Off to the side just for a minute. I can tell you already that this is a lot simpler than the perfect grade version of it. So this, there's a few pegs back here that line up with that. Come on. Don't make me a liar. Oh, whoop. I think I have the wrong one. Easy fix. There we go. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So that's what you'll end up with. Now we'll rotate it around so that we can see all this stuff. So first off, we will need to put this this hole yes into this hole. there's a little tiny hole you can see it right there how it kind of locks into place and then wait okay I was about to say if I lost a part I would flip out right now So this piece will go on to the other side with the peg here facing away from you. Oh, don't. I just launch it towards myself. Oh, 
I'm launching everything today. Okay. I'm just going to place it down like that. Then we'll grab these two pieces. Just like before. Put those two together. Now I'll bring in the sword. Oh, almost forgot about one little piece. So with this flat side facing upwards. Just looking... Oh, that's why I have it backwards. Just like this here. It should just slot right into what my right there. There we go. Now we'll take the sword here. Put that big peg at the bottom through the hole and it should be just a matter of lining everything up together just like that there Okay, I see. Okay. And we'll take this piece here with the fancy side facing upwards. Slot it right. Come on. into there like that as you, as if you don't know this was actually this is actually a beam tool kind of deal equipment shoots la shoots lasers out of it you get the word I'm trying to say without actually saying it. Now we'll take this rotate it all the way around so that's it in sword mode now let me grab the perfect grade version of this stage right now that's the about half of it, half of the blade. That's the rest of it. Now what we'll do, we will take these two clear pink effect parts and they should just line up with one another.
Come on. There we go. Now once you get one, it should line up the rest. And literally what we do with this is stick the sword inside of it. There we go. So that's it with the effect part for the real grade. Now, the effect part for the perfect grade just a little bit, just a little bit bigger. Just a little bit. It's not like it's the same size as the perfect grade Gundam itself. Oh no, Bandai would never do that. It's still going. Uh, yeah, they would actually make it taller than the Gundam itself. So, yeah. This is the biggest part of the perfect grade that I have. Not as big as the, big as the mega size. Or that... That one twentieth scale gun, the unicorn self transforming light up golden this thinger. Sorry, just unicorns are my thing. Everybody has a thing. Unicorns are my thing. By unicorns, I mean Gundam unicorns like this one forty eighth scale head that I have actually two of. So, if you're new here and you've liked what you've seen, hit that subscribe button. And if you're not new here, well, then, and if, you, and if you've enjoyed what you've seen, hit that like button. And the next episode is actually going to be the final put together, which we might have a guest dropping in. A special guest dropping in. Just saying. And that pretty well does it. So thank you all for watching again. And until next time, remember to rock on.